Welcome back to the Cesium for Unreal video tutorial series. Today we'll be looking at importing photogrammetry data from Cesium Ion into an Unreal Engine scene. This video assumes that you've already gone through the quick start tutorial, so if you don't have Cesium for Unreal installed yet, or you don't have a Cesium Ion account, you can refer to that earlier video or the written documentation on how to do that. So let's hop over into Unreal Engine. Here we have the project that we created from last time and we'll create a new level, call it photogrammetry. And then we'll open it up. And just like last time, we'll be adding in a floating pond as well as a cesium sun sky. Then we'll be adding our photogrammetry data set. We'll click on the cesium icon and we're already connected to our Cesium Ion account from last time, so it'll just show us the menu. Then we'll click Add. Under here, we're going to look for the Melbourne Photogrammetry dataset. Now, we actually don't see that dataset here, and that's because we haven't added that asset yet to our My Assets list in Cesium Ion. So in order to do that, we'll go over to the Cesium Ion website, and we can log in. and then go over to the Asset Depot. The Asset Depot contains a curated list of free assets that you can use in your applications and includes Melbourne as well as cities like Denver and Boston. So let's go over to Melbourne and we'll click on this plus button. And this will add the asset to our My Assets list, as you can see here. Now let's hop over back into Unreal Engine and then close this asset list and then click on the Add button, which should refresh this list with the Melbourne Photogrammetry dataset. Now we can select the Melbourne Photogrammetry entry and click on Add to Level. Then we can press F in order to center that dataset in our editor camera. Now you may see that this is oriented in a funky way. This is because Unreal Engine treats the world coordinates as if the ground were an infinite plane stretching out in the X and Y directions, with Z always pointing up perpendicular to that plane. In the real world, of course, we live on a round globe, and the direction you normally think of as up, pointing to the sky, changes depending on where you're standing on that globe. When we first created the level, our georeference was set to Denver by default, which is in the northern hemisphere. But now we're looking at Melbourne, Australia, and relative to the northern hemisphere, the land down under is naturally going to look upside down. We can fix this by setting the georeference origin to this new location by selecting the georeference actor and clicking place georeference origin here. And then if we zoom in, we can see that the city is now oriented right side up. Changing the georeference origin has also changed the longitude, latitude, and height values. In precise terms, this action has repositioned the coordinate system of the Unreal Engine level such that its origin point, 000, is now located exactly where the editor camera previously was. It also aligned the Unreal axes such that positive X now points to the east, positive Y points to the south, and positive Z points up at this location on the Earth's surface. The ability to reposition the world origin is helpful because many things in Unreal Engine, like cameras, foliage, and physics, prefer using coordinates with Z pointing up, as well as relatively small values compared to the scale of the Earth. That's due to Unreal Engine mostly using single precision floating point numbers. As a quick note, if you're in-game, the flying pawn automatically accounts for this difference in coordinate systems and adjusts its rotation accordingly. It's just the editor camera that doesn't adapt automatically. We're currently working on improvements to the editor camera, so you may see this behavior change in future versions. Melbourne is now loaded into our scene, but it's still surrounded by a sea of darkness. So let's add some global context. We'll add the Cesium World Terrain plus Bing Maps Aerial Imagery into our scene. And now you see that the area around Melbourne has been filled in. This looks great, but if we zoom in close, we'll see that in some areas, the Cesium World terrain sticks up through the Melbourne photogrammetry. 
This happens because both data sets overlap the same geography. In the future, we'll allow you to clip away the season world terrain so as not to interfere with local data sets. But for now, let's simply move the photogrammetry data upward. So if we select Melbourne photogrammetry and then scale up the Z value, we can adjust it until the two assets are no longer overlapping. That's all for this section. In the next tutorial, we'll be adding a third person character and vehicle to a photogrammetry model and using it to explore the city. As always, if you have any questions, feedback, or feature requests, let us know on the CZM community forums by clicking on the help icon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.